Hey there, and welcome back to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Ash Greninja from Pokemon. So let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to draw two equally sized ovals on the left and on the right for the eyes. So starting on the left side, I'm going to draw an oval. Let's leave quite a bit of space in the middle, and we'll draw the same oval on the right side, starting from the top, making sure they're lined up at top and bottom. From here, I'm going to cut through these ovals for the eyelids down to the center. So just below the eye line, I'm going to start on the left side. I'm going to intersect a curve going down towards the middle of the face. I'm going to curve back up and intersect the oval on the right. Let's go ahead and draw in some pupils. So just in the center of this oval, I'm going to start up here on the brow line and just curve towards the inside of the eye. Let's do the same thing on the right side. We draw a little highlight. So on the top corner here, I'm just going to draw a small circle. And on the top left of this eye, I'll draw a small circle. Now we're going to draw a straight vertical line down the middle to the top of that lip, starting from the top. So we're going to go pretty high here. We start up here and just draw a straight line down the middle. From here, I'm going to take this top and just curve out and just touch that bottom line. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. So curving out and coming down towards the bottom. Let's go ahead and draw in the bottom chin. So down here, we're gonna draw a sort of a rounded point for the chin. So just on the side, not on the very bottom, but just on the side of the eye, we'll curve down and just round out the bottom. We're gonna go up on the right side. So curving up and into the eye on the right. Let's give him some nostrils. So on the left here, just draw a little curve. And on the right, we'll draw a little curve. Now let's draw some angled lines with the detail inside the head. So from this corner of the eye, we're just going to angle up in towards that curve. And on the right, we'll do the same thing. Just curving in like that. Now, from the top of this eye, we're just going to round out and come back to that point there. So from the very top, we're going to come in and then just do a kind of a hard turn back into the bottom edge of that corner there. Do the same thing on the right side. So I'm coming out and then back in. And then up here, just on this curve, we're going to draw a curve going up towards that center point. Do the same thing on the right side. So curving up. From this point, we want to draw in the sort of the flares on the side of the head. So just on the top of this eye, I'm going to draw an angled line going out towards the left slightly. So right about here. Let's do the same thing on the right side, making sure they're roughly the same height. Now from here, I'm just going to flare out the sides of the head. So from here, I'm going to curve out. And then I'm going to pull this back in with a curve coming in, just towards that eye. Let's do the same thing on the right side so we can balance this out. So curving out. Now we're going to curve back in, rounding it out, curving back in. We're going to do a couple little ones along the side here. So here, we're going to go out, and then we'll curve that back in. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So out, and then back in. The reason why I go back from left to right, just make sure that I balance things out as I go. From here, I'm going to curve back out with a longer curve, and then I'm going to curve back in right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. So curving out and then pulling that back in. Now these are these little ones on the side here. So I'm going to do a little overlap. So coming up on the left side, curving out and then pulling this back in towards the eye, leaving a little gap. Do the same thing on the right side. So overlapping and then pulling that back in. Now the final one, we're just going to draw these ones angled downwards. So we're going to curve down and then we're going to pull that with a curve back underneath the eye. Do the same thing on the right side. So coming down and tucking that in underneath the eye. From here, I'm just going to finish off the top of the head. So right here on the corner of the eye, I'm going to go up, just draw a curve going up to the center. Draw the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to just draw the connectors. So from here on this point, I'm going to angle down and I curve this up into that center point. We're going to start on the inside this time on the right, curve down and then angle up to that point. Let's draw in the tongue wrapped around the head. So just left of center, I'm going to come to here, I'm just going to curve around towards the right side. So curving around, and then back up underneath the flares on the right side. And then over here on the left, I'm just going to tuck one in underneath. So it looks like it's sort of wrapped around the head. From here, this tongue is actually going to go behind the head and swirl up on the left side of the head here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this side. So imagine this curve around behind the head, I'm going to curve down and out towards the left, and I'm going to switch directions. I'm going to curve out towards the right and up. 
We're gonna make this tip really big. So we're just gonna curve around and then bring this back and then start to get a little bit narrower as I get in towards the head. So you can see it's tapering in. Okay, so we got the head. Let's get into the body. So just below the chin here or the tongue here, I'm gonna draw a V right in the middle. A little V shape there. And then on the sides, I'm gonna move out and just curve almost like the half circle coming down along the bottom on both sides, leaving a little gap at the bottom. The bottom here, I'm just gonna connect those two points with a V, like that. Now on the sides, we're gonna draw the sides of the body. We're gonna move over on the left side, and I'm just gonna draw a curve coming down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So coming down like this. Now this goes in towards the legs. I'm gonna have the legs bent up, but we're gonna to have to draw on the lower torso here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a curve that goes along the bottom just to finish this off, but in the middle, he's got this little piece that comes in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here and draw a little bump like this, and then I'm gonna come up in towards a point in the center, just like that. From these points, I'm just gonna curve up. So it looks like it's aiming towards that point, but I'm gonna leave a little gap here. All right, so we got the two sides. Let's get into the legs. Now to make the legs really simple, I'm gonna start up here on the side of the body, curve around and wrap this underneath this little curve here. Starting on the left, curve around, and it gets big at the tip of the uh, kneecap and it comes back in. So this is the knee here. I'm gonna draw that little plate on the knee. So up here, I'm just gonna round it out and just pull that back in along the bottom. Let's take that and draw the exact same thing on the right side. So we're gonna start on the top, curving around to the knee and then pulling it back into that point. Starting here on the side of the body on the right, curving around and then tucking this underneath the center torso there. Up here, we're gonna draw that same curve. Starting on the right, curving around, and then back to the bottom of the knee. Now here, because the legs are bent, you're not gonna see the shins, you're gonna see the feet coming out this way. So he's got these big, two big toes with these balls on the end. So right underneath this knee, I'm gonna draw a curve going out and towards the left. So it's got a nice little curve like this. At the tip here, we're gonna draw a circle, but I'm not gonna close it off. I'm just gonna do a slight overlap. So here I'll do an overlap, draw a circle. It's almost like a C shape. It's got a little open end there. From here, I'm just gonna do another overlap and curve up. From here, I'm gonna curve back down in the opposite direction, like this. Now I'm gonna draw that same C shape, but I'm gonna turn it so that the opening is facing straight up. So right here, we'll do an overlap, round out, and then just keep that little end open. From here, I'm gonna draw a curve going up towards that little spike at the back of the heel. So coming up, now we're gonna pull this back in the opposite direction and we're just gonna stop right there. We're gonna draw the back side of this toe. So up here, I'm just gonna draw a curve overlapping that point. We're just gonna close that off a little bit. Now in, in between the toes, he's got this little webbing. So right here where the overlap is, on the left to the right, we're gonna draw a curve going up and then back down. Very simple foot. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're gonna start on the outside again. Underneath the knee, right here, I'm gonna curve out. We draw that C shape. Now this time the opening is gonna be aiming up that way. So starting up here, we're gonna curve around and close it off, but we're gonna leave a little opening there. Do a little overlap and curve up towards the inside of the toes. And then we curve in the opposite direction coming down. Let's draw that open-ended C, again with the open opening at the top, around like that. Now from here we're gonna flare out towards that heel, that spike in the heel coming up, trying to make sure that we're lining up the tops. From here, we're gonna come down in an angle. Now we're gonna draw that curve just to finish off the back of that toe, like that. All right, from here, oh, one thing, let's draw in the webbing between the toes. So from here, we'll curve in like that. Let's draw in the arms. I'm gonna have the arms coming out to the elbows and then down towards the three fingers that are kind of like this. So starting up here, beside the eye height. So just along the bottom of the eye, we're gonna move across here. I'm gonna draw a curve, curve going out. It's got a little bit of a bend, curving like this, so it's coming this way. On the ends here, I'm just gonna draw an oval that's angled this way. Starting from that end of that line, and draw a little oval like that. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So starting from that point, we'll draw an angled oval like that. We we'll draw the inside part of the arm. So down here, we're gonna come out and come in towards that point that elbow, but it's gonna get a little bit narrower as we come in. So from here, I'm just gonna curve down, tuck that in underneath the tongue. On the right side, we'll curve up in towards that elbow, leaving a little gap on the end. Let's go to the left side and draw in this arm. 
So from here, from this elbow point, this little oval, we start here on the end and curve out. Let's draw on the inner part of the arm. So we're going to draw an overlap, drawing a curve coming in towards the wrist. Now we're going to go back to this side and we're going to draw on the fingers, just like how we did the toes. We're going to do an overlapping open-ended circle. Circle with an open end there. We're going to draw a curve with an overlap. Okay, so you see I'm overlapping here, curving in towards the middle of those fingers and then curving in the opposite direction for the second finger. We're going to draw that open-ended circle again right here. And then we're going to do an overlap coming up and we're going to come down in the opposite direction. Let's draw that open-ended circle one last time, right like that. Now we're going to connect here to that wrist. So we're going to do a little overlap here. So from here, make sure it overlaps a little bit, coming in towards that finger. In between the fingers, we're going to draw a curve for the webbing, just across like that. Let's do the exact same thing on this side. So let's start with the inner part of the arm. So right here, we're going to do an overlap, coming in towards the wrist. On the outside, on the end of this oval, we're going to curve out towards the finger. Now we're going to draw those open-ended circles. So here we're going to start with an overlap coming around. Now up here we're going to do an overlap coming in towards the middle of the fingers and then curving in the opposite direction down. Do that open-ended circle again. Now we're going to do an overlap coming up again out in the opposite direction and we'll do one last fingertip like this. Now we're going to do an overlap and come in underneath that forearm coming in like that. All right, let's draw in the four pointed wings coming out on the tops and on the bottom. So on the right side, you're gonna see it pretty clearly because there's nothing overlapping here. So starting on the side of the head here, we're gonna draw a curve. Curve going to the point. Now we're gonna curve down in the opposite direction and just tuck this in underneath the arm. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side, but you can see that the tongue is covering most of it. So we want to make sure that we line up the top, so it's going to come up to about here, the tip, but we want to draw that curve. So you're only going to see a little bit of it on the top, and on the bottom it's going to tuck into the top of that arm. So I just sort of want to imagine a line coming from the tip of my finger down in towards the arm. We're going to draw some little stripes on the inside. So on the right side here, we're going to start on the inside, curve, we'll draw a thicker sort of band, and then up here we're going to draw sort of narrower, so the, the line spacing is a little bit tighter. So you can see that this one's smaller, this one's bigger. We do the same thing on the left side. Curving this way, that way, and now there's one up here, curving along like that. Now he's got two more wings coming down this way. So we're basically taking this, flipping it over, and drawing them down this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the armpit area and curve down to the tip of the wing, which would be right here. So curving up into the armpit. Now this is going to tuck in underneath the knee, so we're going to go in the opposite direction up. We'll do the same thing on this side, starting down here, in between the knee and the finger, coming down, and then curving in underneath the knee. We're going to draw some stripes, just like we did here. So starting up here, we're going to draw one curve into the knee, and then a small one there. And then up here, we're going to draw the spacing a little bit wider. Do the same thing up here. Two curves. And then right here, he's got two little ones here. And the last final thing is I'm going to add a little lightning bolt on the side beside the eye. So right beside this eye, I'm going to go up in an angle, come straight down. We go up in an angle again. Now we're going to come back and just trace this up, but we're going to get a little bit wider as I come down. Just like that. Let's do the same thing on this side. So going up in an angle, straight down, up in an angle, and then coming back and opening up that space in between. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Ash Greninja from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you check out our Pokemon playlist. I add a new one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.